most difficult colleges to get into. Hey everyone, it's Alexa and welcome back to another video. From recent news, we learned that the rich buy their way into university, but what about the rest of us? Let's take a look at the most difficult American schools to get accepted into. Cornell University. This private and statutory Ivy League school is located in Ithaca, New York. Cornell is organized into seven undergrad colleges. Over 14,000 undergrad students attend school here, with 8,000 graduate students from all over the U.S. and from 116 other countries. Cornell University was founded in 1865 by Senator Ezra Cornell. Famous alumni include John Cleese, Carl Sagan, and the inventor of the Heimlich maneuver, Henry Heimlich. Their acceptance rate is currently 13%. Rice University William Marsh Rice University, better known as Rice University, can be found on 300 acres of land in Houston, Texas. This private research university has a rather small student body, with a 6 to 1 student-faculty ratio. As of the fall semester of 2018, less than 4,000 undergraduates are enrolled here, with over 3,100 postgraduates. With the school having such a small amount of open spots, the acceptance rate is only 18%. Claremont McKenna College. This co-educational private liberal arts college has a graduation rate of 90% with an acceptance rate of 11%. Claremont McKenna College, or CMC, has a curricular that emphasizes on international relations, government, public affairs, finance, and economics. In short, if you plan to run a business or hold a position in the government, apply here. Notable alumni include the vice president of Starbucks, the founder of TechCrunch, and the late Robin Williams, though he did not graduate. Harvey Mudd also located in Claremont, California, Harvey Mudd and CMC share adjoining campus grounds. Harvey Mudd has an acceptance rate of 13%. Of the 4,078 applicants for the class of 2021, HMC only admitted 529. The workload for students is said to be very rigorous. If you excel at science and engineering, then this school might be a good fit for you. Harvey Mudd College was founded in 1955 as a private undergrad college. Dartmouth. Situated in Hanover, New Hampshire, Dartmouth is a dream school for many high-achieving high school students. Dartmouth has an acceptance rate of 10% and a tuition of $22,303 a year. It is ranked number 7 out of 1,615 for colleges with the best professors in America. Elazar Wheelock established this private Ivy League research university in 1769, making it the ninth oldest institution of higher education in the U.S. and one of the nine colonial colleges chartered before the American Revolution. Swarthmore College Located in the small Pennsylvanian borough of Swarthmore, this college was founded in 1864. It is one of the earliest co-educational colleges in the U.S. The U.S. News & World Report ranked Swarthmore as the third best liberal arts college in the country. They admit 13% of their applicants every year. To be eligible for consideration, students must have an SAT score minimum of 1305 and above. Swarthmore has the third largest number of Nobel Prize winners per graduate in America. Northwestern University. The main campus is in Evanston, Illinois. However, Northwestern also has other locations in Chicago and Doha, Qatar, as well as academic programs in Miami, San Francisco, and Washington, D.C. Northwestern University was founded in 1851 and has an acceptance rate of just 13%. It is the ninth largest university endowment in the U.S., valued at $11 billion. They are famous for their Medill School of Journalism, Beenan School of Music, Feinberg School of Medicine, and more. Brown University. This private Ivy League establishment was created in 1764 and is the seventh oldest institution of higher education in America. Brown University has many notable alumni, a list that includes actors Emma Watson, David Diggs, and John Krasinski. Currently, they have an acceptance rate of 8%. Fun fact, if you watch The Simpsons growing up, you might remember that Lisa Simpson dreaded the thought of going to Brown as opposed to going to Harvard. In Futurama, made by the same showrunners as as the Simpsons, Brown is located in the sewers of New New York. It turns out a lot of the writers for these shows went to Brown. Johns Hopkins. Johns Hopkins is one of the top universities in the world. U.S. News & World Reports lists this as 10th among global universities, and Times Higher Education World University Rankings places Johns Hopkins at 12th place. No wonder they only bring in 13% of their annual applicants. Founded in 1876, Johns Hopkins has become a leading institution that revolutionized higher education in America. It is located in Baltimore, Maryland, and over its 140-year existence, it has produced 37 Nobel laureates. 
Pomona College. Pomona is another small school with only 1,700 students as of fall 2018. Pomona College has the lowest acceptance rate of any liberal arts college in the U.S. at 7.6%. It is one of the top five liberal arts colleges in the country. Many call it the premier liberal arts college on the West Coast. Like CMC and HMC, it is also in Claremont, California. Roy E. Disney went here, as did the creator of Gumby and several screenwriters who have won Oscars. Duke University if you're into college basketball, then you either love or hate Duke University because of how good their team is. They have one of the most successful basketball programs in the country. What else does the school have to offer? Duke has produced the fifth highest number of Rhodes, Marshall, Goldwater, and Truman Scholars of any university in America. They have an acceptance rate of 10% and a total of 15,892 students, combining undergrads and postgrads. University of Pennsylvania The University of Pennsylvania is a private Ivy League school and was chartered in 1755. It is the sixth oldest university in America. It was among the first academic institutions to concentrate on multiple faculties in one place, such as classics, medicine, and theology. UPenn has four undergrad schools and 99 different majors. Between undergraduate and postgraduate, there are 21,599 students and 4,638 faculty members. Benjamin Franklin founded UPenn and was its first president. The school has an acceptance rate of 8%. University of Chicago The University of Chicago features several professional schools for which it is known, such as its School of Law, Medicine, Public Policy, and more. U of C only accepts 8% of its applicants every year, and you must have an SAT score between 1480 and 1580. They can boast that they have alumni and faculty members that were Rhodes Scholars, Pulitzer Prize winners, and medalists for national humanities. Out of their graduates, 16 became billionaires and many members of the U.S. Congress went here. Vanderbilt University The school was named in honor of Cornelius Vanderbilt, the shipping and rail magnate from New York. Vanderbilt University is a private university located in Nashville, Tennessee. This school is the founding member of the Southeastern Conference, an athletic conference for American colleges in the South. Only 11% of the people that apply are admitted. If you do manage to obtain enrollment here, know that it will cost you $23,295 a year. Columbia University Columbia is the oldest higher education establishment in New York City and is the fifth oldest in the U.S. Their acceptance rate of 7% means that every graduate worked hard to get in. Initially, it was named King's College in honor of George II of Great Britain but changed to Columbia University after the Revolutionary War. It is ranked the third best university in the U.S. after Harvard and Princeton. They have produced many prominent alumni, such as five founding fathers, 39 Academy Award winners, 11 Olympic medalists, and 125 Pulitzer Prize recipients. MIT. MIT stands for the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. You will find the school in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Thanks to MIT, we've been able to advance technology quite rapidly in the past 150 years. MIT was founded in the mid-1800s as a response to the industrialization the U.S. was experiencing back then. People affiliated with MIT include 16 chief scientists in the U.S. Air Force, 41 astronauts, and 58 National Medal of Science recipients. In 2014, Money Magazine named MIT as one of the top three best colleges for your money. MIT has an acceptance rate of 6.7%. Their undergraduate program consists of 44 different degrees across five schools. Princeton. Princeton has been around since 1746 and used to be called the College of New Jersey until it was renamed in 1896. This Ivy League school has both undergraduate and graduate classes for social sciences, engineering, natural sciences, and humanities. They only admit 6% of applicants every year, so don't miss any of your homework in high school. From 2001 to 2018, Princeton University has held the first or second rank of America's best universities. Caltech. Caltech is one of the best places to learn if you are inclined towards studies like engineering and natural sciences. This school is a private, doctorate-granting research university that manages millions of dollars every year in sponsored research. Located in Pasadena, Caltech first opened in 1891 as a prep and vocational school. Among Caltech's alumni, faculty, and researchers are six Turing Award winners and 73 Nobel laureates. Caltech has an acceptance rate of 8%. 
Yale. New Haven, Connecticut is home to Yale University and was established in 1701 by clergy for the education of congregational ministers. Curriculum has moved on since then and now includes a vast number of departmental majors. Over 12,000 students attend Yale. Yale's acceptance rate is just 7%. Alumni include actors Paul Newman, Jodie Foster, Meryl Streep, and Lupita Nyong'o, as well as U.S. presidents such as both George Bush Sr. and Jr., Gerald Ford, and William H. Taft. Their mascot is a bulldog named Handsome Dan, the first college mascot in America. Stanford. Speaking of mascots, you might be interested to know that Stanford University's mascot is a tree called the Stanford Tree. The school has been around since 1885. Stanford University's founders were Leland and Jane Stanford, who created the school in memory of their only child. Leland Stanford was a governor of California and U.S. senator, but also a railroad tycoon. The school's alma maters include 17 astronauts, various members of Congress, and 30 living billionaires. Their acceptance rate is 7%. Aside from from academics, Stanford also has a reputation for its wealth and proximity to Silicon Valley. Stanford is considered the most competitive university in America, and it isn't even in the Ivy League. Before we get to number one, we have a question to ask. What was your most favorite memory from your school days? If you're still in school, what sorts of things are you looking forward to? Let us know your stories in the comments below. Harvard. That's right. The most difficult college to get into is Harvard University, Yale's rival school. You'll find Harvard in Cambridge, Massachusetts. They have an acceptance rate of 5% and a graduation rate of 98%. Even their dropouts are successful, and it's a list made up of Bill Gates, Matt Damon, Mark Zuckerberg, and newspaper and magazine magnate William Randolph Hearst. In Hearst's case, Harvard expelled him after he brought a donkey into a professor's room with a note that said, now there are two of you. Their student population consists of 6,700 undergrads and 15,000 postgrads. Harvard is America's oldest institution of higher learning, having been founded in 1636.